Alrighty, welcome to a 4-on-4 four four Vintage Cube. Here we've got myself, Alpha Frog, Eatomatic, and Strider battling against Diodonis, Mark, and Burning Trees, and uh, Matt the Dealer. So we've got a battle on our hands and not a great pack, but you know what? I'll first pick a remand. I'm not above it. And I'm going to keep in mind that Sign of Draco is going to wheel, or not, not is going to wheel, could wheel. Emerald Captain's also quite good, but I, I like Remand, just two drops over four drops for life. Passing, probably Captain or Ignoble is the next best couple cards is my guess. But I'm happy enough to remand it up and follow it up with eee, another pretty grim pack. The best cards in the pack are like Guy's Cradle, Deep Cavern Bat, <laughs> I guess Bank Buster. Nothing I want a second pick. I think I'll just take the Bat. Maybe I'll get a Lurus. Uh, Deep Cavern Bat is a good card. Uh, the really good, nice little Fallen Shinobi Enabler. It's good with Lurus. It's good in any kind of deck, really. And this pack is just kind of weak, so I think I'll just take that. Oh, now there's a Balance, an Atali, and a Prismatic Vista, as well as Nexus of Becoming and Subtlety. These cards are all pretty good. Lindell's Vault is also cool, but uh, not... Not what I want to take here. I, I like taking that card once I have some combos to go get. I think for me, it's be between Prismatic Vista, Subtlety, and Balance. I don't really want to snap off an Atali here. And I like Teferi, but not as much as Balance if I were to take a white card. I don't like that Balance is pretty bad with Deep Cavern Bat. But Balance is a really strong card if you can build around it. Mm, I think I am going to take the Balance, actually. I I just find that Balance is a, is a card that has a lot of ways to go right. Now I can take Basalt Monolith. Over Shielder's Edict or Thopter Foundry. Just go for Artifacts. Maybe this Deep Cavern Bat doesn't get played. And had I taken the um, Prismatic Vista, I would probably have just taken Shielder's Edict here. But I think I like Basalt Monolith. I also haven't I haven't passed any Artifact stuff, really. And uh, Basalt Monolith combine, comboing with Forensic Gadgeteer is pretty nice. And now here there's Sunfall and Thalia and Oust. So some pretty good white cards. Jeweled Amulet is fantastic with balance though. And then maybe Oust or Sunfall comes back or I just take Oust. And I think I'm actually just going to take Oust. I think Oust is a ridiculously good card. It's just so effective and cheap. And I like that more than Jeweled Amulet. I think that's the best card in the pack. I mean, Thalia, if you're, if you're drafting Mono White, you know, that's very good. If you already have your red, Season Pyro is also really good. But Oust, I think, is reasonably stronger than most of the cards here and uh there's sunfall and yeah jeweled amulet and talisman i would be happy if any of those came back let's see one two three four five yeah it's possible i could get one of those back probably not jeweled amulet but maybe sunfall or talisman we'll have to see and then here, oh, there's Rafine's Tower, which even if I don't play the bat, I still like a dual land, and maybe I'd splash black. There's also Simulacrum Th Synthesizer. Scry two and ETBs, when you play a three mana artifact, you get a thing. Oh, I really want to try Synthesizer. All right, we're, we're synthesizing here. I'm not going to claim that's the right pick, but I'm happy to take it. No, now I will still take Teferi. I love Teferi, and that's a great card to pick up here over Lotus Petal, which would also be pretty nice. But getting a seventh pick Teferi makes me really feel like Blue White is the place to be. Sorry, Deep Cavern Bat, you are out of here. I really wish I took Reckoner Bank Buster instead, but th this works out. Oh, and here there's a No More Lies. Again, one of the main reasons I've been drafting Blue White a decent amount lately, besides the fact that we've been playing without initiative, that is a big part of it. The other part, though, is that No More Lies, you just frequently get eighth pick Mana Leaks, which is like a first pickable card. So I'm going to take that. I like Skydiver, but No More Lies is just so good for this deck. Scion did wheel. So did Ignoble Hierarch. Uh, I think I'm going to take Cauldra, though... <laughs> Scion Trigger Simulacrum Synthesizer, I'll have you know. There's two really good green cards. I know Ignoble's much better, but I still don't really want to hate draft here. I'll take Cauldra in case I get a Stoneforge Mystic. I like that combination a lot. Oh, this is a really tough pick. Because on the one hand, Prismatic Ending or, or Unexpectedly Absent are both great. But Lotus Field plus Balance is just a really sick combo. So I think I'm going to take the Lotus Field. It also, if I pick up Candelabra, that'd be nice. All right, let's get these in a little bit better order here. So basically the reason this is so good is it lets you turn two lands and basically three lands into just one. So when you balance, they have to sack a bunch of lands. And then explosives, I think I like more than Lindul's Vault. Oh, also explosives can trigger this. Um, 
Oh, wait, no, can't. Sorry. It's not on cast. If it was on cast, explosives would count as three. But when it enters the battlefield, wait a second. <laughs> if you put Cauldra Complete into play, it uh, it triggers the synthesizer. That's awesome. Here, I think I should take Battle Ball over Blight Steel. I'm not taking Shield Zedic, though. It is funny that that thing wield. And here, oh, man, I didn't wheel Jeweled Amulet or Talisman. I might take Steel Seraph because if I get a Mishra's Workshop, this, this deck could really start popping off. Oh, last pick Savannah. Okay. It's not nothing. A lot of threes, a lot of twos. I, I like the start. Could use a little bit of, ooh, a little bit of Moxin to make our balance really pop. Yeah, I'll take that over to two fetches, three fetches. Wow. And Sheldock. Displacer Kitten might come back because, like, there's an Archon and three fetches. Those are locked. That's four. Sheldock's five. All we need is someone to want Vamp and Hero of Bladehold or Godless Shrine. All right. We got we got a plan here. All right. And here, I would love a Meticulous Archive, but I would love a Jace even more. You, you don't, you know, not every deck you draft is a Jace deck. This is a Jace deck. Just so good with balance, just setting up Planeswalkers. I mean, it would be nice if I had that Sunfall too, but I'm, I'm happier with Oust anyway. Yeah, Jace. And then maybe I get something back. There's a lot of cards I would play in this pack. Ooh, this pack, it's got a fetch, which I can't really use. Spelljacker and Brazen Borrower, which I do really like. Borrower's actually sick with balance, too. You cast Petty Theft to slow him down. Then the Borrower chills in exile, balance everything away, and then it comes out. But I'm just going to take Hallowed Fountain. I think just taking the land is so good. Especially since I don't think either of these is going to wheel, but... No, actually, I'm not picking anything out of this, picking up anything out of this pack, but I'm still taking the land. Oh, there's Mishra's Workshop for our Synthesizer, our Monolith, Battlesphere, Steel Seraph. I like Council's Judgment, but I've already got Oust, Balance, Teferi, Jace. I've got a decent amount of interaction, and Workshop is, is awesome. Mm, Wheel of Fortune is awesome, too. I do like a Wheel of Fortune. Am I supposed to take that here? I've got a Mox Ruby. Because there's also a Frexian Revoker, which is fine, but not like super exciting, especially since I'm, I'm you know, maybe getting Balance going. Not that I can't play creatures, but there's also Frantic Search, which is pretty nice with Lotus Field. <clears throat> um, I like Wheel of Fortune a lot, though. Let's just take Wheel of Fortune. Maybe we'll see if we can work it. All right. Candelabra to go with Field and Workshop. Love it. And then if I get an Academy. Not that I ever get an Academy, but if I if I do. <laughs> I've had Academy plenty lately. <laughs> Ooh, and there's a Mox Opal. All right. We'll take that over Stoic Sphinx. Easy as pie. And now the, the, the wheel splash looks a little better. Also, picking up Candelabra makes me happy I took the wheel. Because, you know, let Candelabra take the wheel. Uh, I can generate a lot of mana. I'm doing a lot more, like, action things. No, now there's a Brain Freeze. There's also a Misha's Research Desk, but... Brain Freeze looks like a pretty nice win condition when you have Wheel of Fortune in your deck. Hmm. I do love a research desk. It's also nice with a lot of the cards I have. I still think I just take Brain Freeze. We also haven't seen Breach yet. And you never know. The, that could uh, could hit at some point. All right, now I can just take Pirate Spellbomb. Oh, uh, oh man, I didn't wheel the card I was hoping to wheel here because the Hero of Blade holds still in the pack. But that's all right. Pirate Spellbomb is also a really good pickup, so... I'm not too unhappy about that. Oh, and Meticulous Archive came back. There's also Sahili. Kind of interesting. Sahili is not great with balance. It really isn't, but it's a really strong card. And it works with a decent amount of the stuff I have. I think Sahili is too strong to pass up, especially with all these zeros. So I'll take Sahili. Oh, Brazen Bar did come back? That is huge. Did not think that was going to happen. Now there's Zerda that goes infinite with Basalt Monolith. Yeah, I like that over Mystic Forge, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll make infinite mana with Zerda. Can I companion it? Um, I'm actually no, not if I play Brazen Borrower, Simulacrum Synthesizer. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to companion the Zerda, but I think it's still better than Mystic Forge. I have a lot of non Forge or like st stuff I can't play off Forge, and I like Trop, but I don't actually have any reason for the Savannah either. I'll take Imidane's Recruiter. Pass a bunch of green cards. Sure, I'll pass someone an Oath. I don't think this deck was going to be an Oath deck. I guess I had Savannah. I could technically Oath, but I, I, I want, like, Brazen Borrower in my deck. That's just not a good Oath target. Plus, Oath of Druids just never wins. I, I think the card's super fun, but... <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, there's a lot of good cards in this pack. There's Dark Ritual, there's Lutri, there's the Cryptic Goat, Fury. Demonic Tutor is a fantastic card. 
I mean, I like DT in combo decks, but what am I supposed to take here? It's not Lutri. I, I mean, Cryptic Coat Synthesizer is amazing. I just don't think I can first pick a Cryptic Coat here. Honestly, it might be Fury. I have a Zerda, a Wheel, and a Sahili to pitch. I could even play Imidane's Recruiter if I wanted to. And then I'm also not passing a Fury, which is a pretty busted card. There's also a Demonic Tutor. When I have a two-card combo, I have Basalt Mono Zerda. Having a Demonic Tutor in my deck is pretty nice, too. I think I'm going to take Fury. That That's pretty close. And now there's Solitude. I think I might just take the, the Pitch Elementals. I just think the Pitch Elementals are kind of busted. So I'll take that. Maybe Portable Hole or Collector's Cage Wheel. That would be nice. Okay, there's Zurin Orb to go with Balance. But I think I might Palantir. My curve is kind of high with these elementals. Also, it triggers Simulacrum Synthesizer. And you can play it off workshops. So I'll take Palantir. I would like Plateau. I don't think Plateau is going to wheel. It rarely does. But between Talisman and Zurin Orb and Ancient Tomb, well, Ancient Tomb's, Ancient Tomb's not going to wheel either. I still think I take Palantir, though. This looks like an extremely solid Palantir deck. So what do I do if I get infinite mana with Zerda? Um, maybe cast a Wheel of Fortune, cast a bunch of stuff, <laughs> draw, cast Mox Opal, Candelabra. Actually, Candelabra Zerda is nice too because you you put Candelabra on the stack or you choose it, X equals three. Zerda makes it cost two less. It can't make it cost less than one, but it can still, oh, there's the Breach. Rewarded for the Brain Freeze. Oh, our deck just got much better. Look at this. I've got Breach Brain Freeze, and I have Mox Opal and Mox Ruby. So even though I don't have Lion's Eye Diamond yet, uh, I still have the opportunity to, to go pretty hard here. Oh, wow. Now there's a Crucible and a Fast Bond. I have a Savannah. I have a Wheel. There's a Zernorb in play. Is there any chance I take Fast Bond, Wheel, Crucible, and Wheel Zernorb? One, two, three... I mean, there is. I don't have a Stone Forge, so the Assimilation Aegis isn't like that great. Um, yeah, let's take the Fast Bond. Let's let's see where this goes. Oh wow, there's a Volcanic here. There's also Memory Jar. Memory Jar with Zerda, Infinite Mana, and Brain Freeze. I think I just take Jar, and I just basically I'm leaning on my fixing to be like Lotus Field and Mana Artifacts. I'm not gonna take Interrupter. I don't love passing Fiery Confluence, but I think this deck wants wants its combo pieces, and I think Jar is going to be a really strong addition here. And then now I can probably just take Brainstorm. I think Brainstorm is going to help too. I don't know that I'm even going to play this Fast Bond, but I also don't. I passed a lot of Green Impact one. I don't mind hating a Fast Bond. Now there's a Nettle Cyst or a Sea Chrome Coast. Does Nettle Cyst do... What does it do for me? It's pretty good with Simulacrum Synthesizer and Sahili. But I think I should just take Sea Chrome Coast. I took spells the last couple times. And then now, okay, Pentad Prism is a great pickup. Though Mystical Tutor can get Balance or Brain Freeze or Wheel of Fortune. Ugh, this is close because my I have a couple draw sevens. I think like my mana is bad enough. I'm supposed to just take Pentad Prism here. That is a tough one though. Okay, the Fast Bond, likely not to make it. Um... I guess I could take Carnosaur here. I don't think I'm going to play Raucous Theater. I have no black cards. I have no red fetches. All right. Yeah, well, Carnosaur. And the Savannah and Fast Bond is chilling here, but I don't think super likely to make it in. I guess this Carnosaur is not that likely either. It's another red card for Fury, which is kind of nice. Um, and right now, I mean, if I cut those two... Okay, Zernorb came back. I will take the Zernorb because it's also good with Balance and it's good with Underworld Breach. The reason it's good with Breach is it lets you sack a bunch of lands and then uh, go go hard that way. All right, do I want Haywire Might as a one-mana artifact or do I want Touch the Spirit Realm to go with Solitude and Fury? Probably just Touch the Spirit Realm here. It's not like I have Academy, so I don't think Haywire Might's that necessary. Oh, I got the Crucible back. Okay, we backdoored the Crucible Fastball and Zernorb combo. All right. I, I'm glad I took that Pentad Prism. I guess I'll take Yavimaya because, oh, it's pretty nice with Mishra's Workshop. Sylvan Library, also nice combo with Balance. All right. we This deck went some places. Let's go to building here. All right. So this deck is now I have to cut a lot of cards. Let's start. 
Do I want to cut explosives? No, not really. Let's see. I kind of like all, maybe I cut this, just cut the Solitude and Fury. They're so good with the wheels, but I guess I'd be pitching a wheel to Fury some amount of the time anyway. I mean, I'm not that short once I cut those two. The Jar seems really good in this deck. I think Simulacrum Synthesizer is actually going to be decent. I've got four artifacts I can cast that are big past it, and uh, you don't need to get too much off of it to make it, to make it work. Mm, Sylvan Library could get cut. It's also a nice one with Zern Orb. Because right now, let's see, I want like two forests, one, two, three, four, five, six green, seven green sources. That's about right. Two mountains is one, two, three, four, five, six red sources. I mean, this deck's going to be a little... The mana's not going to be great. I actually... I don't know where I could have taken... There's a couple opportunities where I could have taken a land. I'm really glad I took the Pentad Prism. I'm not sure where those were, though. The Volcanic, I think Memory Jar is just going to be too good. Let's see. So is four planes enough? That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, I know I'm counting Opal and Pentad Prism all these times, but I think that's fine. And then that... And then we still want some blue. And so this is three, four, five, six. I think I need to take out a forest for another island here. I also think I'm going to have to make some cuts anyway. I could cut explosives, though. That's another card for synthesizer. Oh, no, it's not. I just keep, I, I remember that. Um, do I want this Zerda? What does infinite colorless mana do for me? It lets me cast Jar, Crucible. Oh man, if I, I didn't get any sack lands, unfortunately, like the Horizon Canopy lands, because that would be really nice with uh, the Zernorb combo. But I think getting infinite mana off of... Uh, infinite life, first of all, can just win you the game. And then infinite mana off of the Crucible combo is good. Maybe I just don't play the Zerda. And... Then I could cut Brazen Borrower. I think the Simulacrum Synthesizer is going to be good. I think Borrower is pretty nice. I could cut Sahili, but I think Sahili is also fairly solid. It helps with the uh, Mox Opal. The Mo I'm just looking at my cheapish artifacts. The Mox Opal is definitely a big part of my mana base. Oh, this is an artifact too. Yeah, no, no, Op Opal looks good. It doesn't have to be on on turn one. This is a pretty nice little deck. I could cut Oust or Brazen Borrower. Those are both cuts. I don't want to cut Remand or No More Lies. I think the Fast Bond combo is going to be good here. I mean, I already also have Wheel and Jar, so Fast Bond's going to be good there too. I'm not necessarily going to play Fast Bond super early with this deck, but I think that is okay too. I think it might have to be Brazen Borrower that gets cut. Or I cut a Planes. Let's see. Right now I have four Planes. Plus Seachrome and Savannah and Hallowed Fountain. That's seven white sources, plus then Lotus Field, Mox Opal, and Pentad Prism. Yeah, I could probably cut a Plains, and then, I, and then I'm playing 16 lands plus a Mox Ruby, so 17 at lands plus Mox Opal. The, the Lotus Field does make me want to play more lands, but I don't really want to cut any of these cards. So, all right, I think I like... Oh, not sort of by rarity, sort of by mana value here. All right. Yeah, I think I like the way this deck looks, and I've got some good sideboard cards, too. I mean, if Solitude or Fury are particularly good against someone, I'll probably side them in. But otherwise, uh, I like where we're at. All right, I'm just going to show you one of my team's decks, because Eomatic has Black Lotus, Mana Crypt, and Time Walker. <laughs> Three of the top five cards in the cube. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's got Demonic Consultation, Jace Wielder Mysteries, Doomsday, Grief, Shieldred, a bunch of good black cards, Sheldock Isle, Caracas. Eumatic's going to do well. All right, in any case, let's get to round one. I'd like to play first, and... Okay, this hand this hand goes places. I think what I'm going to do here is go Mountain into Pentad Prism, and then turn three, I can go Sahili plus Simulacrum Synthesizer. Sounds like a pretty good turn three. Let's see what we're up against. All right, Mountain Go, not too bad. Uh, 
Jace is also <clears throat> a pretty good one. I guess I could also cast Jace next turn. Kind of depends on what Burning Trees does, but I'm pretty tempted to go Sahili into, into Synthesizer here. Okay, yeah, especially if they're drawing that. So let's cast Sahili. Mm -hmm. Play Zern or make a uh, token. Because part of what I think is, is so great here is if I find any artifact that's expensive, I can Sahili to copy the synthesizer and cast the expensive artifact and get two golems, and that's just going to be awesome. The scry two on this works really well here. All right, let's find some action. Island planes. Um, bottom, I'll, I'll keep the island on top. I'm kind of locking myself into doing <clears throat> nothing too exciting next turn, but I get to have Brazen Borrower, which is decent against red black. And then keeping island on top means any island I draw lets me cast Jace, which I'll be quite happy about. All right, pass the turn. No plays yet, huh? I hope we're not getting set up like a through the breach or something. And after I draw this island, I'm then hoping to draw. Ooh, uh oh. Well, if this is something I can bounce with borrower for profit, I wouldn't mind that. But I guess we'll see what it'd be. It could be a fiery confluence. Yeah, that would be a, that would be pretty annoying. Destroy Zernorb, destroy synthesizer, deal one. Yeah. Uh, one to each creature. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. All right. So it was a two for two, which to be honest, Fiery Confluence could be worse <laughs> for me. Now I've got <clears throat> this Jace here set up. It is a shame because I didn't really like to lose both those things. Now that I know about Fiery Confluence, I wouldn't have played the Zern Orb there. Okay. Well, Thoughtseize is bad because now Jace gets taken. But Memory Jar and Wheel of Fortune are both fantastic draws here. Um... Crucible of Worlds wouldn't be too great of a draw. And what's your last card here? Inti, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll bounce this Inti now. Seems worth it. All right, any Wheel of Fortunes? Any Wheel of Fortunes? No? I guess I will play the Crucible, get a Sahili token. Now, uh... <clears throat> drawing a uh, lotus field wouldn't be the worst. What else What else am I hoping for here? I mean, the draw sevens are like the big part of it. Breach freeze isn't too exciting. Looks like we're playing as red-black removal, which isn't too bad. Oh, Simeon Spirit guided out a gold span. All right, I guess my Sahili's going down. Balance would be an interesting draw. I have these two tokens, but I can get rid of them soon enough, blocking this Inti that's about to come out here. So that could be decent. Island. I mean, I guess I'll play it. I can also uh, Brazen Borrower to block here if I want, though I don't think that accomplishes too much for me. I might just wait on the Borrower, because if I draw Balance, I would much rather uh, balance away everything here and keep the borrower. I am <clears throat> not loving this. Okay, so they're going to discard to make Sahili into a 3-3. Three, three. I think I'm going to double block with servos in case I do draw balance. I don't think the servos are doing a whole lot for me. So even though it doesn't actually accomplish anything, I think blocking here is good. All right, Sahili still dies. I take four down to 16, player Verdant. All right, balance, Mox Opal. Uh, I'll leave that in hand. If I draw Brain Freeze, Breach stuff, I mean, I have like one turn here, I guess. <laughs> I guess maybe there was it was worth just chumping the gold spin because I'm not gonna be able to block it because of Trample now. Yeah, that's probably better to have chumped it last turn. <laughs> Fiery Confluence is, is a bit of a beat, I will say that. Oh, what is this? Oh, Sneak Attack? Okay. Are we sneaking in a Kozilek? 
no cards in hand. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'd go to one here. Sure. Let's cast Brazen Borrower. And I mean, I can still draw balance, so I will go ahead and sack Prism, Workshop, Mountain, Island. Block Brazen Borrower, go to one. Balance would be kind of sick. I'd be down to just, uh, actually, maybe I should have kept the Pentad Prism. <laughs> yeah, that would have been better, actually. Uh, I d didn't draw anything anyway. Because then I could have uh, played the Opal and, and balanced down to down to just one land, but a sneak in play, so probably still losing. All right, so sideboarding. I kind of feel like Solitude against Sneak and Goldspan is pretty good, so I will put that in. Brazen Borrower still seems pretty good. Oust seems a little bit less impressive. It's okay against Goldspan and Inti, but it's not, like, amazing. Um, the Fiery Confluence is just going to mess me up. I don't really have any recourse to that. I could put in touch the Spirit Realm, too, but I think I'll just take the Oust out for Solitude and give it a go here. All right, I'm on the play here. What do we got? Oh, all right, I'll keep this hand. We're immune to uh, Thoughtseize. We can cast it. We have tons of mana. We can cast every spell <clears throat> in our deck after this turn. I am going to play everything out, even though that does make a top deck Simulacrum Synthesizer worse. I think that getting Thoughtseize, because I could it, this plays around Thoughtseize, Inquisition, and Duress, because I'm going to go Workshop, Monolith, play Crucible, play Opal, and then really hope to draw Balance, to draw Wheel of Fortune would be just unbelievably good, um, Memory Jar, any of those things. So I, I like where we're at. I just need to draw a little bit of action. And then next turn, I'll just untap the Monolith. Well, I guess I can't untap it yet next turn, but the turn after. <laughs> and I can cast, I can still cast Jar. All right, a lot of things I can do here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if this is how it's gonna be, it's how it's gonna be. We'll see, we'll see. Still immune to Thoughtseize. I'll have you know. Mm. I think a draw seven would be nicely timed here. Inti, sure. A balance would be awesome too. Uh, what if I, can I interest you in just drawing all lands? Yeah, I kept a hand of all mana sources because I just don't think you're supposed to mulligan having six mana on turn two or whatever. Uh, but obviously there's ways this could go wrong. The way is drawing a bunch of lands. The, the good thing is, though, <clears throat> I've got cards like Balance, uh, Wheel of Fortune, Memory Jar, like one card that that just gets me out of this completely. This is a Goldspan again. Turn three, Goldspan's pretty good. Okay. Still looking for that balance here. Okay, no discards. All right. Let's untap the Monolith. Takes six. Well, turn three gold span is a, is a beating. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, look, there's a lot of hands I could keep. Like, where if my first three draw steps are all lands, I'm going to lose, including hands where I mulligan to six and they go inti into gold span. So I think this is just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you are not meant to win. And this is certainly one of those times. Is that, I mean, well, besides balance and wheel and Jar is looking even a little sus, but Jar would still be really good. What else could I draw here? <clears throat> Teferi is not that good. Jace. Yeah, I, I, I'm getting to the point. I mean, Brainstorm could lead to something where I don't have very many outs. This turn, I'm going to take 9, 10. All right. I mean, balance still would be pretty good here. Really, just not discarding to Inti with four mana left? That's pretty wild. All right. Am I just going to get Fiery Confluenced out right now? Uh, also, if my opponent kills me on turn four, like, look at this. <laughs> they just have the straight up turn four kill. All right, well, uh, there we go. Good game. All right, time for round two. That round one was a beating. Playing against the Adonis here, who is on 
Lurus of the Dream Den, and oh, I do like this hand. Crucible Lotus Field is nice. I've got Borrower. At some point, you know, if I draw Balance, we could get we could get some action going. And Wasteland, oh, that is fine with me. That is not a big deal given my opening hand. A Strip Mine as follow up would be a lot a lot more problematic. I'm gonna go turn two island. Hope to uh, get to cast Brazen Borrower, though I guess it also would be good if I didn't get to cast Brazen Borrower. Oh, Remand. All right, let's see what we do. Against Lurus, it's going to be a pretty low curve deck, so either way, I'm probably using Remand and Borrower on a two drop. I guess I'm inclined to Remand here. Slick Shot Show Off. Um, yeah, I think Remanding that's going to be good because I'm about to tap out and then I can borrow later. Oh. Oh, 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 um, kind of want to just, just get this Palantir going, and then I can still have a uh, Brazen Borrower up here. All right, Palantir, okay, top, top. So no matter what, I get this balance into my hand, and then I can set up Lotus Field plus balance, and that should be pretty strong here. I'm probably not going to bounce a sure, uh, Slick Shot show off uh, that is just hitting me for one here. So this isn't killing my Palantir. Oh, they're plotting it. Okay, I probably should have done that last time to be honest. All right, so I'm drawing balance. Now, let's just cast the jar, I think. Play Lotus Field, sack two islands. And then next turn, I can cast Crucible and before replaying my land, cast Balance, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Simulacrum Synthesizer. Um, I mean, I like these cards, but they do enough damage that I think I'm just going to put them both on top. And this just nugs Adonis for 13 here, or down to 13 here, which just means that like in the future I'll get to draw more cards off of uh, Palantir. I also don't even mind not drawing cards yet because I've got balance coming. Revoker, sure, that doesn't matter. I just want Adonis to play more creatures because I want to get to land the maximally devastating balance here. Okay. And we're even tied, so you can't even rob anything. Perfect. Draw zero mana artifact? No, not that lucky. All right. Let's cast Crucible, but before we replay lands, cast Balance. Uh, what a messed up card. I told you Balance Lotus Field is sick. And uh, this is going to knock my opponent down to two land, no, no creatures in play, and even discard a card for good measure. And then... I don't have any uh, play to make this turn, so I'll just play Tap Hallowed Fountain past the turn. They discard the mountain. All right, then Palantir pops off here, and I'll put these on the bottom. Drawing Pyrite would have been sick. <laughs> I would have gotten to make them discard one additional card. Okay, they milled and hit Oust Brainstorm Mountain. Really, milled on three while on 13? All right. They probably can't mill again, is my guess. And then Teferi plus Brazen Borrower plus Palantir is going to be sick. Yeah, I put Luris into hand. That, that doesn't bother me at all. Mm. Let's cast Teferi, I think. Unfortunately, there's no way to do it that doesn't involve tapping out a Borrower. But I think that's better. I could also crack Jar. Yeah, this is like kind of a decent turn to crack Jar. I have a lot of mana. Let's see what I hit. Why not? Plus, if the jar gets blown up, I'll be pretty unhappy. Oh, this is probably enough to win here. Monolith, kind of converting Misha's Workshop mana into regular mana. Underworld Breach. I haven't played a land yet. Um, doesn't I do want to play it from hand, I guess. Or I kind of want to just wheel first, and then I'll decide where to play the land. So it's wheel using colorless mana. And I just need to find Brain Freeze here. Okay, which I did. Oh, I have Zernorb, <laughs> Fast Bond, Crucible, Brain Freeze. Okay, into Candelabra. 
and they can't even be have, playing Eldrazi in deck, so. All right, this is what I was hoping this deck would do. <laughs> this is pretty good. I got to do all the things. I got to balance, Xurnorb, Crucible, all that stuff. All right, we got game one here, and I think Fury and Solitude both will be sick, which makes me want to touch the Spirit Realm. Also kind of makes me want Zerda, because it pitches to both. Explosives also seem like it could be good. What do I want to cut, though? <laughs> this isn't free. I have to cut some stuff. Brazen Borrower, I think, is actually cuttable against all two drops. I could cut Sahili, though. Sahili making a bunch of tokens is nice. I guess I like the combo a lot. Maybe I don't bring in all of this stuff. Maybe I just bring in Solitude, Fury, Touch the Spirit Realm, Cutting uh, Borrower. I don't really want to cut Palantir. I could... Don't really want to cut Pyrite, no. I could cut Oust since I'm bringing in better removal spells, and then probably don't want to cut a red card as my last card. Could cut a land. I have a decent amount of mana sources. I'm putting in some zeros. I could also, I could also potentially cut Jace, but I, I think I don't think I want to do that. Um, I think I'm looking at whether I want to cut a land or maybe cut. Maybe I just cut Sahili after all. Oh, man, I really like Sahili. I could cut Remand. It's kind of crazy, though. Remand is such a good card. No More Lies is also pretty good. I could cut Candelabra, but I think that's also going to generate a lot of mana. And Lotus Field is one of my good ways to cast these things. I could cut the Simulacrum. You know what I could do is I could cut Simulacrum Synthesizer. It makes me kind of sad, but I think that maybe that's the, the play. Maybe I'm supposed to put in Trumpet and Carnosaur as well. I'm not sure. Hmm. Carnosaur in. Carnosaur is good with Touch the Spirit Realm and with Fury. And then maybe I just cut the No More Lies and go like this. All right. We'll try this. I don't really know. I'm not, I'm not high confidence. Part of the thing about a combo deck is it uses up a lot of slots. So it's kind of hard to, to navigate. Oh, well, I like this hand. Balance Mox Candelabra is a pretty nice little combination. Oh, she's soaring. Okay. Soaring into Copter? Never mind. This balance is not actually going to do that much. Damn. Um, yeah, let's just play Candle. I don't want to play the Ruby because of uh, Revoker here. I'm probably not beating turn one Soaring Copter, I would imagine. Like, balance is not even going to do anything here. Yeah, there's the Revoker. You can name the candlestick if you want. It doesn't really do too much. But, I mean, it's obviously better to name something that you see in play. It's like next turn I could balance, so I'd have five cards in hand, so I'd have to discard a card. <laughs> They'd have to sack a land and a revoker. I mean, it's still going to be decent, but obviously Soul Ring and Copter, two really powerful permanents that don't get hit by balance. Oh, Extruder and uh, Loris deck is kind of cute. Okay. Solitude's interesting. Um, and I think I just passed the turn. Well, no, I want to balance here. I think it's worth it. I would. I'd have to discard two cards though. No, I don't. I don't want to do that yet. Then let's just wait. Maybe I can land a uh, solitude on the copter. I guess the Giver of Runes makes that a little tricky. Okay, is this more creatures? I'm still at 17, so I'm not dead quite yet. Collector's Cage, oh man, another card that doesn't get hit by balance and they can use it right away. That's pretty cool because they can put a counter on the Copter and then have a one, a two, and a four. So this is three, I put a plus and plus one counter on a creature and then you have to have three creatures with different powers. Oh, crewing it like that. All right. Play your hideaway card, I suppose. Embreath Shieldbreaker. Um, okay, that's fairly weak. All right. I might have to balance now. And I'm going to 13. Draw. Oh, Mox Opal. What a draw. All right. That, that makes me a lot happier because now I can go Mox, Mox. Uh, either way, I'm losing these lands, I guess. And then I balance and... Well, what I could actually do... 
I guess solid I could solitude the giver of runes. That doesn't really help much. Let's just cast balance, I think. And then discard my mount island mountain. No, I have to keep these two. Keep Jace and Solitude, discard Island and Mountain. It was those three creatures. All right. I mean, it was a three for three. And now any land I can cast Solitude. And maybe it's just putting Luris into hand. No plays. All right. All right. Now this gives me a window to cast Jace too. Oh, there's the Lotus Field. That would have been sick earlier. But this is still pretty good. Because now I can Lotus Field... Sack these two lands, and then Candelabra to untap the Lotus Field. Now I can cast Jace. I could Brainstorm, but yeah, actually I think I have to Brainstorm, because the thing is, Luris lets the Copter, crew the Copter if, well, it, it's, it's tricky, because if, if the Adonis has a land, can go Luris, crew the copter, pump it with collector's cage, attack Jace for five. So putting Jace up to five loyalty doesn't do that much for me. I think I'm just going to brainstorm. And if I draw a white card, I can cast Solitude, which I think would be pretty nice. And who knows, there's other outs as well. Time Raveler and Brain Freeze. Um, I already played a land. So I think... Put back these past the turn, and we'll see what happens with this smuggler's copter. But it's kind of tricky because I really don't want to like solituding a, a copter when there's a Luris in play is kind of rough. But that gives me at my Jace an extra draw step here, which is nice. If the Adonis has land, it can go land revoker then. That's a lot worse for me. All right. Go to combat. Okay. Doesn't have a... Oh, this doesn't even need white to activate. Yeah. All right. Now I'll exile, sol, exile to fairy to cast Solitude. Solitude the copter. And then now if I can find Breach, I can win. I'm drawing Brain Freeze. I'm just going to brainstorm here. Try to find an answer to Luris as well. Fury would be sick. Um, let's put Forest and Prism back, cast Palantir, so I could Brain Freeze myself and mill, I mill myself for three. The reason I do that is my, I know my top two cards are bad and Palantir lets me kind of tutor. So I think it's probably worth it, because then if I just find Breach, I just win. So let's Brain Freeze myself for three. Actually, myself for six. I just hope I don't mill Breach. All right, I milled some nonsense. All right, Palantir, Fast Bond, and Fury. Top, top. I think Fury is just going to be a better draw than anything else I could imagine. Okay. Now, okay, well, I drew a land, so... Gets to add red mana now. We'll see for what. I mean, Jace is going down. I do know that. I'm hoping the Palantir survives and I can go Fury, kill Luris, kill something else. Though I actually have a pretty nice out here, which is if Revoker names Jace. Duh, that seems pretty unlikely. Revoker is probably going to name Candelabra again. <laughs> Funnily enough, this time it actually does something. No, he named Jace. If he's naming Jace with Revoker and doesn't attack Revoker or the Jace... That, that would be incredible. Oh, dashed Raghavan to take my fury. Oh, yikes. This is still a crazy play, though. Five dam three damage to me versus that in play. I mean, what if I just draw a, a way to get the Revoker off the board and I start chasing again? All right. I mean, Underworld Breach still wins me the game. Evoking fury to kill the Jace now. Oh, sure. That's also fine, I guess. And then Generous Plunder. All right, well, I'm just dead next turn, so Breach? No. All right, going to game three here. Um, yeah, I mean, I do like Fury and Solitude. I really, I don't like that Soul Ring. Maybe I do want Explosives. 
can kill some of the other stuff too. Maybe touch the spirit realm is bad. Put in explosives. Maybe I don't want Carnosaur. Put back in Oust. And then keep Solitude and Fury. Basically cutting Brazen Borrower and No More Lies for explosives. On the play, I think I'd rather have No More Lies though. And I basically cut Brazen Borrower for Solitude and Fury. And I cut Sahili. Is that the other card I cut? No, I kept Sahili. No, I cut Simulacrum Synthesizer. Yeah. Yeah, that seems fine. All right. Let's just hope for no soaring. I mean, that's that would that would definitely help here. Play first. All right, turn one fast bond win. <laughs> this deck is capable of a turn one win. It's just not very easy. Uh, this hand. This hand is pretty slow. I think I can mulligan that hand. Okay, I mean, I'm going to keep this hand. I'm going to put Brainstorm back, and I'm just going to hope to draw any land. Any land gets me there. Keep. And I'm just going to go turn one Forest Fast Bond. And if I draw a land, then I'm not going to play Orb because of Revoker. If I draw a land, I can go land Lotus Field. All right, land, land, land. Then I just have infinite mana, infinite life, and a Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Oh, Raghavan. All right. Land, 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 please. Land. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, it's just not your game. No More Lies is like probably the worst card in the deck I could imagine. All right. What do you exile? Exile on the land. Sure. <laughs> all right. All right. I mean, just, it, you know, these things don't matter if I draw a land. All right. Land. And then I go Lotus Field. Sacrifice these two lands. All right. Pass the turn. So I it would be nice to draw a any land here so I can cast Wheel of Fortune. Because the way things currently stand, I cannot. But let's just get infinite life and see if uh, my opponent can defeat infinite life. I guess they, with a Raghavan out, they kind of can because they're going to get another Raghavan hit. But if I draw any land, I get to cast Crucible with a red floating and then just completely pop off. What I'm hoping is I really don't want Raghavan to exile Brain Freeze here. That would be unfortunate. All right, no Brain Freeze, please. Pentad Prism, sure. You can turn two treasures into a prism if you want. Doesn't really do a whole lot. Okay. Land would be really nice. I'd probably just win if I draw a land. Oh, Ruby does it too. All right. Orb. Ruby. Crucible. Land. Tap. Land. Tap. Sack the Sea Chrome Coast. And then now I have no more lies up. Not that that matters, too. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know if they can if they can beat infinite mana, infinite life, but we'll see. Got this Ruby just chilling there for when I need it. Lotus Field was actually like pretty bad this game. I mean, I guess it wasn't the worst in the world, but it was uh, it was a little awkward. It would have probably been better as most other lands. I guess Misha's Workshop. No, Misha's Workshop would have let me cast Crucible. Misha's Workshop actually would have been the nut land to get. All right. Uh, let me see. All right. Um, and I guess I can just wheel now. I have enough. This is enough mana. Okay, into Brain Freeze and Breach. I guess I don't have red mana. But I can cast Teferi. I can bounce Ruby. Ruby land. Alright, this is sick. <laughs> we we got to we got to go off here. This was really nice. And then jar. And then boom. Crack. I'll play Underworld Breach just in case. Crack two lands, land, 
land crack jar and in response brain freeze you boom all right a turn four kill when i didn't play a land on turn two we take those all right time for round three so uh matt the dealer couldn't get the cards to work right he wasn't able to get his deck whatever uh so max taking over so at least i got an easier opponent and uh, i will keep this hand drawing a green on turn one would be really nice but even if I don't, having a bunch of counters up early is pretty good. And I have two combo pieces in hand. Both take different things. Okay, at least this is, I'm not getting libraried. Hwatley. Well, Hwatley isn't a problem next turn, but the turn after becomes one. And I've drawn two islands in a row, which is basically the worst card in my deck right now. Other colored mana is okay, and spells are definitely fine. But islands and planes, no good. All right, we'll remand this because I would like to find something. Oh, perfect. It's Austerino here. Okay. I could... Oh, I also... I should have probably just Yavamaya fast bonded, but I don't think it's going to matter too much here. I just wanted to ask Swatley because Swatley getting flipped this turn wouldn't be ideal for me. Zanissa? No. I've had enough of your lies, Mac. All right. Time to draw a memory jar. Oh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. We take those. So we're going to get hit by a questing beast. All right. In that case, I guess... Hot leads on the top card. I don't care about that. I'll just plus two on myself. Look at the cards. Uh, I'm going to put... Pentad Prism on the bottom. Yes, it's red mana, but this Breach isn't doing anything without Brain Freeze anyway. I'm hoping I get hit for 4 and a 13. Jace goes to 1, then I Brainstorm and hopefully find Balance. That's going to be my best bet here. If I find Balance, this game becomes extremely winnable. Misha's Workshop. All right. There we go. I guess this does the trick, huh? Uh, Ruby... Breach, Brain Freeze, let's see, I have enough mana to Brain Freeze Mac, Twice Brain Freeze for three, and then for, sorry, Brain Freeze for nine, yeah, this, this should be enough, Brain Freeze you, I get, I want one more on myself, Brain Freeze, Brain Freeze, Brain Freeze, and then Oh, Candelabra is interesting. So, cast Candelabra. Exiling these three. Play Lotus. Sack these two. Untap Lotus Field. Tap this, and then Brain Freeze for 15. So I just brain, actually, I should have just brain freeze myself to start with. Because I need to hit Opal now. Okay. So I just brain freeze myself a bunch. I, I, I miscounted it a little bit. Let's just make sure we hit Mox Opal. Zurin Orb. And Mox Opal. There we go. Play the Opal. Play the Orb. Sacking these three. And then now I've got... Oh, I guess I could have hit Zurin Orb also. Nice. And now I have, oh no, I didn't, I didn't, I needed to hit Zern Orb and Crucible, so I couldn't quite do that, sorry. But this is still more than enough, and uh, that was a turn five kill after doing some disruption. Oust, as, as usual, does some good work. Playing against green kind of makes me want Fury. I'm such a balanced deck. Like, this deck is just so all in on balance. I love it. The Simulacrum Synthesizer kind of hasn't been hitting here. Kind of feel like I'm better off with just Fury and Solitude in most cases over it, even if I have to hard cast them. Maybe I just cut Borrower and that for better interaction. I guess I'm in for that. Game two on the draw here. If I can win this match, salvage a nice little 2-1 and, oh, not Mulligan hand with balance here. All right. Can I get a fast bond? <laughs> Actually, Lotus Field has just been one of the most important cards for this deck, to be honest. Uh, 
Hallowed Fountain, not a great draw. Because Lotus Field into balance here would be so sick. And I have the Crucible. Skull Clamp? Skull Clamp's pretty good. Thalia's not bad either. These are both good cards. Oh, Zern Orb's interesting. So let's land. Let's just play the orb because I have to spend mana to cast it. The Thalia is going to make this a lot harder because I wanted to play Crucible before balance, but I might still be able to. Elf getting sacrificed. Watley, sure. I'm not under that bad of a clock. I'm going to go to 18. A two-mana counter would actually be kind of decent here. I'll just play Seacrum Coast. I'll pass the turn. And then represent a counter. Next turn, play Crucible. And then the turn after that, balance Zern Orb. I go to 14. Because if I got Questing Beast this turn, I would I might have to adjust my plans. But I'll take this. Go to 14. I doubt I'm dying next turn. Council's Judgment, my Zurin Orb? Oh. Mac, that's it's dirty. That, that made my whole plan so much worse. Um, yeah, now the Crucible doesn't do anything. I don't really want to balance those two idiots away. Let's just play Palantir. Uh, I do kind of want this Mox Opal. Let's see, yeah, I actually think Mox Opal is going to be pretty good. So Palantir, get a Plains Mill, draw Mox Opal, cast Crucible, cast Opal. At the very least, I could cast Opal and just cast Balance. Okay, I'm at 10 now. I'm probably going to, oh, that's annoying. Probably going to have to do something here. I was going to flip Watley. Yeah. And this makes two dinos. But the next couple Hotly uh, turns are really not that important. All right. And then cast Balance here. Kill Thalia. Kill the two dinos. Kill one of Max lands. I discard. I keep these three. Discard an island. And then I play my island. And if I had Zern Orb, this game would have been a lot easier. Bottom, I'll put jar on top. Take five. If you're going to make me mill, at least take five. Ooh, ooh, that's a brain freeze? I like seeing that. Okay, if this isn't, if this turn isn't like a big one. Oh, Palace Jailer? Yeah, because that means I'm probably not dead next turn, which means I get one more turn to fill my graveyard for this brain freeze here. Sure, equip Skull Clamp. That doesn't bother me at all. Draw. I mean, this would be the turn that a counter would be good, though. Actually, can I just breach Brain Freeze here? Ruby. Oh, this this should be enough. Breach. Brain Freeze myself. For one, two, three. And then I have Crucible, so if I find Fast Bond, I could potentially do some things. All right, so now I've already played both my things. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, I, I've, I've drawn both my mocks in. Oh, that means I can't necessarily brain freeze for enough currently. Um, but I can, I can go brainstorm first. Four and then brain freeze for fifteen. Hmm. I have a wheel in my graveyard still. I also have a Sahili. Does that do anything? No, that doesn't really do anything. Uh, okay, I got like a little hasty. <laughs> I should have waited one turn. Uh, let's see. Having not played a land yet, I guess I can brainstorm. Exiling, uh, no more lies, planes, remand, sure. And then put these on top. Butte Crucible, an island is fine. Play a land. Then I can brainstorm, spell five. Yeah, this, this looks like it's going to be, it's not going to be quite enough, but I think it'll be something here. 
actually, I shouldn't discard exile the lands, though. I guess I'm going to lose. Uh, I'm not going to have too much uh, in too much left in my graveyard, no matter what. And then now, oh, I can put back. So five. Yeah, hold on. Put back Crucible Solitude. Cast Fast Bond. And then Brain Freeze. I go to 10. I go to 9. And then Brain Freeze myself. No, no, sorry. I, already, I can't play Lands on my Graveyard. Brain Freeze Mac. I think for just it all. I guess I shouldn't play... Yeah, I'm drawing Crucible, doesn't matter. All right, Brain Freeze you for 21. And then he's just going to... He's going to go to two cards in deck. He can attack me for three. Draw to one card, and then Monarch puts him to no cards. Unless he's got a reshuffler in there. Doesn't look like it. All right, and it got the Natural Order Crater Hoof. These go away. Um, milling for three, top top. <laughs> maybe this uh, <laughs> maybe this mills him out too. Though I don't think that's gonna happen. Or uh, damage takes makes him take enough damage to die from Palantir. Though again, I don't think that's quite gonna get there. All right, yeah, let's me draw the card. Upkeep, draw to one. You can go get a Dino. Did he have a Dino to get in his deck? Oh, I don't think so. It's not a dino. Not that it matters now. I was just wondering. All right. Unless Matt can come up with six points of haste, I think I'm doing good. It's going to be hard to do that. Flicker Wisp? Okay. What are we flickering? Roar of the People? Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's quite going to do it. Endurance! No! Oh, okay, so I guess Endurance was going to get him there no matter what. All right, I guess we're going to go to game three here. Endurance is a beating. Okay. So that's uh, good to know about. Mm, I can Solitude. I mean, I guess I don't die. Solitude one, block the other. Yeah. All right. I mean, I don't know, really know what I'm hoping to do here, but Palantir, bottom, bottom. I mean, he's clearly going to let me draw. Yeah, no, I think I just die here. I can't. All right, Endurance is a beating. Didn't, didn't think of that one. Though that one was not something I could do too much about. Um, yeah, if he just has Endurance in hand, it's going to be hard. I still want to keep my and if he if he didn't counsel judgment by Zernor, but Thali meant I had to play it. All right, I like Solitude and Fury still. I find not playing Borrower, Touch the Spirit Realm, or Synthesizer. It's got a bunch of artifact removal anyway. All right, let's just uh, run this and hope we get a nice nice early balance off. All right, game three on the play. Yeah, I will keep this hand. I do need to find. I mean, fast bond would be awesome. Oh, it's possible. I didn't really think of it. Maybe I should take the workshop out, though. Cast Basalt Monolith, Crucible, and Memory Jar. Those are all pretty important. It just doesn't cast the Simulacrum. It's like the one artifact it doesn't. I think I go f Forest Spell Bomb. I'm trying to think which land. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't have Strip Mine, so it kind of doesn't matter that much, I guess. Mountain lets him know that I can activate the spell bomb, so maybe I just lead on forest instead or planes. Him will to four. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, the, everyone has different strategies to to combat uh, brain freeze. Oh wow, this is, what a mold of four. Okay, uh, Zernorb is nice. Let's just play land. What I think I'm going to do is hope to draw a source that can cast Sahili next turn. That would be really nice. I might also want to just pirate the Urza Saga token. Okay. Oh, Solitude. That is a pretty bad draw, actually. Land. I think I'll just wait a turn. Getting to cast Sahili would be good. 
killing one of the constructs, I think, is like a pretty big game. So, end of turn. Okay, you make a 2 2 construct, kill it with the pirate spell bomb. And then it's going to make another construct. And also, if I draw if I draw a white card here, that's great. If I draw a blue or red source, I can go Sahili and Zernorb to make a token. Saga Mox is a pretty sick... Oh, plus Elf too. Jeez. Balance would also be a sick draw. Well, that was just the, the worst of all draws, I guess. I'll play the workshop, but I guess I have to wheel now. All right. And... Interesting. All right, I drew some action here. Crucible gets me infinite mana. I can cast Fury next turn off of Cradle Fast Bond. The, the workshop actually is going to be kind of nice with this jar. I have Oust, so I have some plays I can make. Of course, he's got a whole new hand of cards here, so I do have to watch out for that. Skull Clamp the Elf is a way to kick things off. Okay, I don't mind that so much. Mm-hmm. I'm at 20 still. All right. It's probably going to blow up my Zern Orb. Never get to have fun. <laughs> Kosali Pride Mage. Sure, you can attack for an extra damage. Oh, Clamp. So I guess we're not killing the Zern Orb quite yet, but we will soon. All right. Oh, we are killing it now. Never mind. Well, let's see. Mm -hmm. Draw this card down to seven. This no more lies has been awful. Um, Island, Fast Bond, Mountain, Yavamaya, and I think I'm just going to cast Fury here. And then Kosali Pride Mage. It forces the Pride Mage, which is fine. I keep oust up, I guess. Uh, oh, oust isn't even an instant, so let's just cast Fury. Two, two. This also denies him a library card. <laughs> Everyone gets a library card. Uh, yeah, I'm at 13. I'll just let it die. All right. Well, I have breached to bring all these things back. He only has four mana in play. I have the the, the creature. Okay, Mother of Runes is going to get ousted. And the Bristlebud Farmer. All right. Maybe I'll just oust that. Draw. I have Fast Bond out, so let's cast... Jar, play a land, oust the Bristlebud Farmer, and then crack Jar. All right. Fast Bond, Breach, Balance, Crucible. Okay, okay. This, this has to go somewhere. Yeah, it does. Uh, let's go... Oh, I don't have Breach, sorry. Brain Freeze, Crucible. Um, but I do have Fast Bond. So we're getting our jar hands back. I mean, I'm going to be able to brain freeze him. And if he doesn't have the endurance in hand, he just straight up loses. Play Crucible. <laughs> yeah, we don't know where that endurance is. It's, I basically have to hope it's in the top in 12 cards here. And play Lotus Field, go to. 12, Lotus Field, I have Fast Bond Crucible, so I actually get to sack the Mishra's Workshop and replay it, which is nice. I don't think a balance actually does anything for me, so I'm probably not going to do that, because <laughs> balance... If I had Zernorb, I would balance down to no cards, but I just think I'm just going to play Basalt Monolith, play Forest, go to 10 and brain freeze you for enough and just hope there's a endurance in there, I guess. 
I don't see one yet. Gruff triplets, natural order, Thalia, Garrick. Uh, no. All right. Well, I think I just passed the turn. I don't think attacking here is going to be helpful. So I just need to find my underworld breach. Okay, he found the endurance in the jar hand. Sure. All right. Endurance getting reshuffled. Draw no more lies. Oh, I guess I could have paid a bunch of life to have no more lies up this turn. Oh, that probably would have been worth it. I have 14 cards left. If I draw underworld breach, I very likely win. If I draw... What else do I have to draw? Jace the Mind Sculptor. What's live? Oh, this is a, a Winston deck. Hold on. Let me get there. This is a good Winston deck, too. Um, Jace is good. Teferi would at least be solid. Palantir would not be great. And Pyrite Cycles, Brainstorm draws cards. Yeah, I mean, I got, I got some definite outs here. Pest Infestation killing my Basalt Monolith. Okay, not my Crucible. Sure. That's fine. I'm at 10. It's got a million cards in hand, of course. He's going to do some clamping. All right, so I, I should have left No More Lies up, but this is actually going to work fine because I don't care about the Basalt Monolith at all. And he has not playing anything that matters here. Thalia wouldn't really matter too much either. Absent the Fast Bond is pretty unfortunate. Okay, I redraw fast bond and I guess just keep it in hand. Sure, I'll play a hallowed fountain tapped. Why not? Pass the turn, and about one of my cards just wins. That's breach. About four of them draw me cards, including multiple cards. Garrick, all right. I will counter that. And then the rest of them, I think, don't really do a whole lot, is my guess. But Hotly, sure. All right. It feels like we've got good outs. It would have been the endurance is just like what is going to end up winning Mac both of these games here. But that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Uh, I guess I'll keep playing lands out of the graveyard. Because if I draw Breach, I can Zern or ball the lands back into the graveyard, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. I mean, I've had one draw step here. This is going to be Crater Hoof. Yep. All right. I guess I guess that that's that, huh? What was my next card? Brainstorm into Teferi and then miss and then die. All right. Well, a disappointing one too, but, uh, you know, we got endurance out pretty hard and that is just going to happen. This deck was sick. I, I love this deck. I really love a good balance deck, which is why I didn't mind taking it early. And... Uh, I think I had a pretty good time casting all these. It would have been nice to, to pull out that last match where I brain freezed him to death twice and he had endurance both times. The synthesizer didn't really get there. I think it might have been fine to main deck, but maybe not. Maybe I should have just played the, the evoke elementals. And that last game I just had, you know, even if you discount the Palantir, one card that wins the game and about four cards that draw me extra cards. Oh, Remand, I think I'd already used, not sure. And then I would have been good here. So that'll do it for today. As always, I appreciate you hanging out. I try to plumb the depths of very new combos here. And you know what? This is a fun one. Didn't quite get there, but uh, it came pretty close. And I'll be back tomorrow with another draft. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel and you won't miss a single draft.